Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I was finally able to find another AR5 reed head. So I took a gamble on it and bought it. And I'm going to try it on here and see if I can get this scale reed so I can have two working axes on this thing again. So this is a newer version than what I had, but hopefully it'll still work. So let me get this put on here and We'll see what happens. Well, I doubt y'all can read the display from there or the dial indicator, but anyway, I've got the uh, new reader installed and I'm going to check it out. It looks like it's going to work. So I'm pretty happy about that. I should have two working axes on there now. I'm at uh, zero on the aims, and that is negative a half inch over here. So when I get to 500 on the aims, I should be at zero here. And when I get to an inch on the aims, which is all the travel has got, I should be at a half inch plus. So let's see how it does. Pass 250, it's right. Should be a half inch, and that's what it's showing. Looks good. It says 503. And I'm showing three foul past up there, so looks like it's a green. I guess the next check is I want to fire this up, run it all the way down and back up and see if it returns. And if it does that, I'd say we're in good shape.
just working again. That's going to be real handy. I like having a machine with a diesel readout. It makes doing my jobs a lot easier and faster. So, being able to get this thing back working again, even though it's uh, almost as old as I am, is a good deal. And I may try, I've got that extra card that uh, somebody sent me back when I was working on this before. And I can put that in there and then maybe sometime I'll see about adding another scale to this for the other axis. Because I can have up to four scales on this particular reader head. And other than that, it seems to be working okay. I did my verification checks that it went back to zero, and it did. So that was good. And uh, it uh, at least agrees with my AIMS indicator as far as what the travels are. So I'm going to say that it's probably plenty good enough for the work I do anyway. It might be off a couple tenths and several feet, but that'll be all right for what I do. It. Uh, probably is more accurate than moving the indicator and re-zeroing time after time after time in order to get enough travel out of it. So I'm going to say that the work will be better now than it has ever been thanks to being able to have this work. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.